We're going to have a word of prayer now. Huh? Thank you, Sister we'll Geneva. Pray. Have a word. Have a word of prayer. Okay. Father God, we thank you for this day, this high day, this high Sabbath day. Lord, that you demonstrate that your Holy Spirit is still at work. And that, Father, while there remains breath in us, there is still hope. Thank you, God, for this day. Thank you that the Pedro family, even overseas, and the extended family who's here, present, and those watching online can enjoy and watch, watch your spirit still at work. In Jesus' precious name, amen. All right, guys online, family Pedro, I'm going to give you guys all a moment or two to say whatever you want to to your brother, okay? And please remember, this is going to all the world, so be mindful of what you say. Careful. You can say something? I'm gonna ask Evelyn. Evelyn, you control who speaks first. Uh, you wanna say something? Well, I could speak on Noreen. I'll let Noreen speak first. This is Noreen. And I thank God that my brother is able to be there and to be baptized. Love him. He's been a wonderful brother. And I pray that God will bless him and help him in his trials today. Mama. Dear God, I am so thankful for this. I've waited for years to see him get baptized. And if you know how we are, we like to put off things. But anyway, I'm so happy we have our pastor there. God bless him. He's gone over the line of duty on everything for our family. And I'm so happy. I'm so happy for each one that we could be together as a loving family. We've always been very close. Praise God, I give him the credit. Right. Pastor, thank you for making this possible. We are so appreciative that we can see Uncle Sonny. It, you, for some of us, it's been quite some time. So it's rather moving. So thank you. We love you, Uncle Sonny. We love you. Uncle Sonny. Uncle Sonny, it is so happy to see the step that you've made. It's just, it, it thrills our hearts. And we're also so thankful for the pastor who has walked the extra mile to make this happen. And uh, we're, we're so grateful. And uh, it's, it, the words can't even express what is taking place in your heart and accepting the Lord. And I, I'm so grateful. I'm thankful for Jesus. Hello. Uncle Sonny. 
This is Dennis, Peggy. Thanks for getting uh, this accomplished. We really appreciate it. We love you, Uncle Sonny. This is Peggy. Alan and M Melanie, did y'all want to say something? This is Sonny. Or Rex? Sonny, this is Sonny. Rex. Go ahead. Talk. Hot, hot arrow. Go ahead, Rex. Hot arrow. No, just came in. We're so glad. It's Have good it to see you. Wow. <laughs> we can see Sonny. you there. Um, it's a drowning. See you right. just now. All so, right. I'm going to be on the ground. So they're going to baptize me, as you know. So pretty soon they'll be putting me in the water. The water's nice and warm. Right. All right. Okay. Bye. Pastor Rex. Oh. Pastor Uncle Rex. Sonny, one last thing. You remember Alan. Alan is with you today. He is signed on here. He is listening to everything and watching everything. You remember Alan? Quite a few people here remember Alan. Alan, my son. All right. Okay. All right, let's go. Hey, you guys have to wait a minute. I'm doing a graduation for the Friday school. That's okay, Alan. There he goes. There he is, Alan. Hi, Alan. All right, folks, I'm going to ask Pastor Rex. Pastor Rex, can you identify yourself, please? Let me see you. Yes, surely. Let me see you, Pastor Rex. If everybody else would do me the favor of muting your phones, muting yourselves, I just want to be able to speak with Pastor Rex right now. Pastor Rex, can I see you? Can you wave? Wave, Rex. There you go. Pastor Rex, I'm going to ask you to do us a favor. If you would have a prayer over this baptism. Surely, it would be my privilege. Let's pray, shall we? Heavenly Father, we bow before you today, rejoicing with thanksgiving and praise and glorifying your name, O oh God, because of Sonny's decision to follow Jesus in baptism. Scripture says that as many as received him to them, that is Jesus, to them he gives power to become the children of God, even to those who believe on his name. We thank you for that, O oh God. We rejoice in you, and we are so thankful that you've promised that uh, sunny a, eternal life. You we promised to everyone who trusts in Christ eternal life. And so even though we are far away from each other, we are together here because of modern technology. And God has promised that one day we can all can and all will be together in that great land where we will never grow old. We will always rejoice in you and come to understand more and more of your great mercy and your great love. Mm -hmm. We pray your special blessing on, on Noel Pedro this day, O oh God, as he goes down into the waters of baptism and that uh, he will come up into newness of life in yes. Christ Jesus, our Lord. To that end, we praise you and thank you for hearing us in Christ's name. Amen. <laughs> Pastor Pedro, if you would say the words, please, for the baptism. Pastor Rex, Pastor Frost, if you would please say the words for the baptism, and we will perform it. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> No, Pedro, because you love Jesus, because you've received Christ as your personal Savior from sin and want to follow him the rest of your days and be with him in glory. It's now uh, Pastor, um, Pastor Q's uh, privilege to baptize you in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Hold your nose. 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 H
черного. Let's give the Lord a hand clap of praise. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Amen. <laughs> what a special day. Yes. Sonny. Sonny, the Bible says that when one accepts Christ as his Savior, that the Heavenly Father breaks out in spontaneous song. If we could, if we could remove the curtain from heaven now, we could see your Heavenly Father singing because of the step that you have taken today. Praise his name. Amen. Amen. Pastor King Jonas, are you for sure that you're not an angel from heaven? I've been wondering that. I, I have the privilege and the pleasure of pastoring a church full of angels, both in the English and the Spanish. <laughs> and who's this there? Uh, who's this gentleman helping you? Bobby. My wife, my wife said you would like to see this because I see my wife get baptized in the church. Her name is Joan Pedro, Joan Winifred Pedro. So, too bad she didn't get to see me because she's always wanted me to get baptized. She got baptized here. And I want to well, say hello to all of you. Why I kept putting off, Lord only knows. I don't know why I kept putting off. But just that your brain sometimes doesn't work like you think it's going to, you know, how you're thinking it, you know what I mean? A lot of times we might say something sometimes and not mean anything. Like sometimes I say to her, but I said, no, I don't mean to hurt you. I lived with her very good all these years, and when she passed away, I now will have to say right there before she passed the last breath. Then when it came and said, that she's gone. I was three hours there. The guy was helping us, right, which was another niece of mine's husband. And then they, they came in, doctors were all lawyers and all that. They came there. And then after that, I stayed right there to the Amos the Undertaker. I know him real well. I worked with him. I knew him before he even was an Undertaker. And when he bought that place up here, and he went Undertaker's, right? As he worked with my wife and gave us many years as a young, young fellow. Right? Well, Sonny, well, so, so, Sonny so. Whenever, we all get to, whenever we all get to heaven, you can tell Joan, Joan, I was baptized on February the 20th, 2021, just a little while after you passed well, away. Well, thank you all. We're all here together now. Yeah. Very much, right? You're looking good, Sonny. You look good. Yes, you do look real good. You look very good. All right, sir. We're going to go there. Uh, <laughs> thank you. Pastor, thank you, brother, for helping out. Thank you, Pastor. The baptism. And helper. Thank you, Pastor. Hey, Mel. For all that you've been doing Hi, Mel. for my brother and spending time with him. Thank you, Pastor. Before closing up service, 
I have to, I thank God for every single one of you, for all of you here present, all of you who helped make this a possibility. Thank you all. And also God continue to bless the Warwick Seventh-day Adventist Church. You know, we are a very small church compared to some of the other churches. But what we do here, but what God is able to do through us, it's amazing. And Pastor Frost, this is the legacy that you helped build, and we thank you for your continued ministry. God bless you all. I'm gonna have a closing well, word you. of prayer, and I'm sorry we have to get ready for another meeting uh, that we'll be doing, but um, I'm sure you guys will be, we'll all be rejoicing. Now, for those who are continuing to watch, those are watching online, I just have one question for you. You just witnessed a 95-year-old man make that decision. And God, praise God that he was alive to make that decision. Praise God Amen. that he didn't go Amen. to sleep not having made the decision, but always having had the opportunity to make it. And that's the scary thing, my brothers and sisters, because we don't know when. So I don't know who it is that's watching online, but I know somebody is. Maybe you've been putting off that decision. It's time. That's all I can say is that it's time. Amen. It's time. Amen. And if you did make that decision and you fell away, it's time to come back. It's time to come back home. The only reason God has, has you alive is so that way you can make this decision. So I'm going to pray for whoever you are, wherever you are, and because this is on internet, whenever you are, that you will make that decision. If you know Pastor Frost, call him. If you know me, call me. But call somebody. Let's bow our heads for a word of prayer. Father God, we thank you that we have today seen evidence that your Holy Spirit has not been withdrawn from this earth. Amen. Because had it been withdrawn, had he left, this decision would not be possible. The act would, but not the decision. The act would, but not, the, not your hand writing Noel Carlos Pedro in the Lamb's Book of Life, blotting out all of his sins, and not counting them, but just having winked at them. Amen. But Father, I pray for that person who doesn't understand that the goodness of God has led them to mercy. It is because God is not desirous that any should be lost, but that all should come to repentance. And that now it's high time to put aside that life and now it's time to lay aside every sin and every weight that today is the day of salvation. I pray, Father, that whoever that person is, wherever that person is, and whenever that person is, and make that decision this moment for you. Contact some pastor. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. God bless you all. Thank you, Warwick. God bless you. Thank you so much. Thank you, Pastor. Thank for you, Pastor. All your